Greetings, fellow governors. Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to Anno 1800, Episode 2, Worker Class. I don't know about you, but I'd, I'd like to live close to a bakery in real life. So I'm going to put one bakery there and one bakery over here. The Coastal Bakery. And then this mill is planned because I don't have the brick. Also, I don't have the labor workforce, but I'll fix that in a minute. We love you, we does. We all like a nap in the orchard. And another yourself, resident quest. Just giving me Scooped us out of the gutter, you did. I don't know what he gave me. Well, I don't know. I don't know what that was. A freebie. Alright, kind of this bakery needs a warehouse nearby, so that might have been a bad place for it. Or, you know, it might just be complaining that it doesn't have flour in storage because I don't have the windmill yet, which I just built. We'll see. If I need to move it near to a warehouse, I can. Jesus, sister, you're already telling me to make cannons? How neighborly are you? And the answer is not very, I think. Um, all right, so let's fix some of the workforce shortages. with the zero timber that I have. Yo, advisor, could you move your fat face? <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to help you. Yeah, right here where the giant box is blocking the screen. It's like I'm playing Stellaris all over again. The broken quest that popped up and wouldn't go away. <laughs> There's a lot of that. So I still uh, have an insufficient workforce for farmers. So you can see all of there the of flour mill and and um, wheat farms are all under supplied with people. Yeah, I mean, I, I to, to my to, to the game's credit, I did opt in for the more guidance, but their version of more guidance is like an evil level of micromanagement over your shoulder. There's not like a tiered threshold of like, I need a lot of help, I need a little help, I need no help. It's like, help or not, and then if you sign up for help, it's like, oh, oh, you're gonna be sad about that amount of help. We are closing in on 600. So another thing that I need to start to consider is a second schnapps and um, distillery because we are about to exceed the 600 supply. Soon we'll exceed the work clothes for um, 650. And then uh, probably fish as well. No, fish supports up to 800, so I have a little bit more wiggle room on that. But we're going to exceed the, um, the schnapps uh, pretty much immediately. So as I add more farmer workplaces and drive up demand for more schnapps, I'm going to inevitably need to set up another farm for that. But as soon as people start to immigrate, uh, we should have this labor shortage sorted. And it appears to me like no warehouses in range. Okay, so let's get a warehouse in range of this. Hmm. And I'll move the bakeries over there. 
probably not met at a bother with bakeries near your um, warehouses, but you know. Or near your, your population, rather. But I want it. They'll compete. They'll be like left Twix and right Twix. So, Schnapps Farm. Our first one was here. Uh, this might be a somewhat underutilized um, warehouse, so we'll set another one up here. And I'm going to carefully paint around the, uh, the lumber area. I don't think it matters. I could be wrong, but I don't think it matters how, like, adjacent the... Um, the field plots are to the farmer. So I don't think the farmer cares that they have to like walk out to this like remote podunk corner to get their potatoes, which is uh, funny. How many more potatoes do I need? Two? All right, I'm just gonna cut into the area. All right, there we go. So now I have a nice rectangle here, thanks to potato farm. And then we'll plop the distiller down. Another quest. I need out with me lowly troubles. My child's a firefighter fanatic who wishes to join the local squad. You can make better what's already gold. Uh Do I just take a f okay? I take a photo of the fire station. You're welcome. We'll gather and toast your elf. You're gonna pay me. Oh, okay. uh, thanks. I took a photo and you gave me alcohol. <laughs> There's probably some uh, some photographers out in the audience that are like, yeah, that's about the level of disrespect that photography gets nowadays. Thank you for your work. I will pay you in booze. Uh, so we s just managed to support the schnapps. Uh, next, I did say that the work clothes were going to be insufficient to support the population. We're already exceeded that population. So let's get that in as well. Uh, underutilized warehouse. Uh, well, now, oddly enough, this one's underutilized, but I don't really know if I want to put uh, work clothes near my waterfront. That somehow feels wrong to me. Plus, it so perfect, perfectly fits there. And I can put this as a medium warehouse. So that's the work clothes. Um, what am I missing? Fish was good until 800, but I'm about to hit that threshold. So let's get another uh, fishery. Oh, this is blueprinted. And then I'll do a quick reassessment of all the needs that everybody has. So for yeah, the... Farmers. Is a pig in muck. Market access is perfect. Fish with the two is good up until 1200 pop. Uh, hold on, let me double check those math. No, 1800 or uh, 1600 pop. I'm nowhere close to that. So fish is good. Um, work clothes. I now have two of them. No, that's not true. I just have the. I just have the uh, two sheep farms, but I don't actually have the second uh, tannery or whatever. So let's put that in as well. Okay, so work close is all set, and we're all set to support them to 1300 total pop now. Uh, yeah, and you can see actually I needed it. Then we have Schnapps, and Schnapps, I have two facilities, correct? 
So we have potato farm, potato farm, distillery, distillery. That brings my schnapps up to uh, 1,200. So we're good on that. And then I think the pub is just a proximity thing. Oh, more fire. Lovely. One thing I can actually do is to improve the roads on the main here. Because I had the brick. And that will help to speed up the fire brigade getting to where they need to be a little bit. Good use of brick. What is the... It just says faster. Well, okay. It's faster. Good. Alright, I do have a, a considerable labor shortage, so that's the other thing to fix. Yeah, there's probably numbers somewhere that I can figure out, like, how it's faster, but whatever. If it's better, it's better. Let's hope it's worth the, the brick. So I've got no current quests, no events, and for the workers, work clothes should be resolved pretty soon. So for sausage, um... That supports up to a thousand workers. I only have 400, so that's fine. And for bread, uh, the two bakeries support up to 2,200 workers, so that's fine too. I'm not even close to that. Um, so the next one would be soap. So that's a pig farm rendering work farmers. soap factory. Stink of manure or stink of grease makes no odds. As long as you. So I'll do that once I fi uh, fix the labor shortage, because there's no point in adding more industries if I don't have people working in them. And some of that is just waiting, because I just built these new um, houses, but they really aren't full. So building additional houses doesn't make a whole lot of sense until the first ones fill up. With a lark this morning, I was. Little village life here. So in terms of soap, we're going to want two pig farms, two rendering works to one soap factory, and that will support a ton of workers. So that's a big industry to to set up. But that's next once uh, once people continue moving in. Do you like my uh, photography, do you? It really is. It's the best. <laughs> Doing good on money. Balance has been in the positive. You have to make pig farms to get soap? Yeah, because you need to render the fat. And we're not in Fight Club where we render human fat, so, uh, so it has to be pigs. And the roads should help with the speed of delivery of goods um, to the warehouses. So that's why I'm using up my bricks to improve the roads a little bit. So that the, uh, the wagons can bring stuff to the warehouses more quickly. And therefore the work facilities are less uh, bottlenecked. I am surprised work clothes is still not filled up. So what is what is going on with that? I 
I think this is just a new facility, so it's catching up to 100% efficiency. Because it doesn't look like my um, warehouse is full loading ramp wise. So it's just a matter of time until it uh, it fulfills. It looks like I'm already at 99% of the way there. Howdy, Trellalero. How you doing today? So where to put the soap production chain? Oh, that was a little indicator that this warehouse was blocked up. So maybe I will save up my brick to upgrade this warehouse next. A splendid Saturday. I'm glad to hear it. Attention for the Admiral. Timber's looking really good. To the point where I might need that depot that my sister was talking about to add uh, tonnage of storage. It's going to be in plenty mode because I don't have the bricks to build it, but uh, but that would allow me to store greater than the amount of timber that I'm about to bottleneck on. Or alternatively, I could turn off some of the sawmills and lumberjack huts uh, because they will obviously not need to work. Unless, of course, I, uh, I use up a whole lot of their wood by just building houses. Knowing that I'm going to be expanding industry soon. So I might as well just have people start slowly moving into those houses. And that will use some, some wood. certainly happy I have more work to be done on the, the workers though so their happiness also requires a church and eventually beer once I have uh, more of them to unlock I'll do the depot now so the depot has raised my storage for timber from 75 to 125. In fact, all the storage is going to be 125. Adding, you know, more total storage. It's useful if uh, if you have need of it. I was about to have need of it for timber, so why not buy it? Right, buddy? Making investments for the future. I think what I will do here is demolish the, that um, sawmill and and uh, lumberjack hut in lieu of putting my rendering for soap over over here. I'll do. Playing a little pig Jenga. Alright, so those are the two pig farms I need. Then rendering works would be two of them as well. Kind of feeling like I want that uh, third brick works. So that might be something I want to add as well. So the people that work in here are workers. The people that work in the pig farms are... Uh, Farmers. 
And then that, of course, leads to the last chain, which is to make the soap itself. And that's in planning mode because I need uh, iron for it. Well, that's a whole different industry, um, which I guess I got to do. Because I think whatever I took off of the boat that I started with, uh, I ran out of. So that means we need to get iron mines. And charcoal kilns. So it's one iron mine to two charcoal kilns to two furnaces. And this here requires nothing. It's all set. Cool. It wasn't built yet, so it doesn't really matter. It was in planning mode. Needs more brick. Means a lot to us. And fixing some of the worker labor shortages now. And I believe it just gave me access to beer. We hit a uh, population threshold of, I'm guessing, 500 workers in order to access that. It's kind of an awkward place for the other kiln. Maybe it's not ideal, but whatever. Doesn't need to be 100%, just enough to make some steel. The other issue, I suppose, is um, that is going to start causing pollution, which reduces the attractiveness. So you end up in a fight of industry versus um, attractiveness. A competitor raised a settlement. Ooh, and we have a competitor raising a settlement in the old world. Uh, here. down sort of south of me. I, um... Because I'm new to the game. You know what? I'm going to try to, like, sail over there. It's too bad I, like... Orders? No, I guess I do have cannons. Blow them up. Okay, so we have the iron mine, two kilns, and then we also need the furnace itself. We are missing a vital good that cannot be produced on our island. You will have to find a way to import it. Okay. So she's pointing out that we can't make hops here. So I will need to import it from elsewhere. And the last but not least, the two furnaces. stuff without a warehouse okay they're a little complaining that the warehouse is too far so i'll move this kiln over here i am the princess ching please i am curious about your otherworldly customs so we met her think and here she is hello do you have hops if I'm commissioned 
I will paint you a story in broad strokes. We have been too hesitant towards the sea. Where's my boat? Here it is. Flagship awaiting instructions. So we would need to open up diplomacy and uh, set up trade rights with her. Right now we're at peace. But I'm going to try to with gain trade rights. May I meet expectations? And see if she is our hop hookup. Fire station in the kilns? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Considering how uh, utterly flammable those things are, right? Ooh, wow. I lost a lot of workforce Need all of a sudden. Don't know where they went. Oh, probably the new uh, furnace. There we go. Now we have in the positive again. It's all how you're born, isn't it? So once we start getting steel beams, we've run out of gabbins. Well, we we'll just have steel, right? If I want actual steel beams, that's a whole different matter. Uh, so it's one iron mine to two furnaces and two charcoal kilns to three steelworks ratio. So that's going to be what I do next, is still works. And I'm probably going to put it back, excuse me, down here and, uh, and set up another warehouse for it. Which means... Oh, I'm closing this Iron Man, but uh, I just want to set up the Iron Man so that I can adjust the farms for some sort of road access for this thing. I'll actually just get rid of the entire farm. Which is how I probably should have designed it in the first place. Make sure that this farm gets all the plots that they require. Which is easy to meet. Oh man, these hiccups won't go away. So once we want more steel, it's it will be good to have that um, set up, and then put the another field field in, so that our uh, bakeries aren't undersupplied. <laughs> Trying to scare me in the chat? Yeah, I've had these like all morning long. It's uh, unpleasant. All right, that looks better. Well, it does not look like both are 144. It looks like the left farm has so much more. It kind of reminds me of the, um, like a tall glass versus a wide glass. I think people uh, assume that the tall glasses hold more li liquid. But, uh, yeah. Because humans are bad at judging volume. All right, neat for housing is going up. And then another thing I should do pretty soon is to reassess um, if I, I am offering enough supplies for everybody because our population is going up. It is almost at a new uh, threshold, a new milestone. Mm. 
many changes, I hope. Okay, so there's a farm labor shortage that makes people sad, a new trade partner that makes riots go down, and I succeeded at something? I think that was the picture I took. I too hope to publish truths I can be proud of. And my trade partner uh, compliment, complimented me on uh, in the newspaper. So hops fertility, huh? And then I need to su supply beer for one minute. So load a ship with at least 10 timber, six steel, eight steel beams, and build a trade post. Sail around, seek out a island that has hops fertility. Once I spotted a likely island, sail close to any beach and create a trade post there. And then uh, farm hops there. Okay. I'm still working on the uh, steel beams. I don't even have a foundry for that. So that would be step number one. <laughs> Also, uh, this medium warehouse is completely overwhelmed, but I don't have artisans yet, so, uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna need another warehouse, aren't I? I wonder, actually, if there's a... Maybe I'll put it there. New buildings unlocked. So I just unlocked the police station and the school. I still have yet to make the church. That's not too expensive. I just need to save up a little brick and timber. So that might be a good uh, next thing to do. Uh, the farmer shortage is getting fulfilled um, with these new houses. And then to quickly assess the supplies I have, uh, so work close is good up to 1300. I'm get, getting close to max on that. So I might want to, uh, address that. Fish is good up to 1600. Schnapps is good up to 1200. So I'm running out of schnapps and work close. So that's another thing I'm going to need to do. Oh, and we have another settlement uh, to our west. Actually, pretty close to where we started. Flagship ready for orders. So I'm going to sail over that way, see who they are. Hold the It's the boss. So that took a lot of my workers, huh? <laughs> that um foundry is going to be lanes on me to detain any who defile her sovereign laws. Oh man, this guy sounds like a jerk. You. What are you? You're just like a star fort. <laughs> New orders? Oh, is this a... Oh, it's a prison. Well, don't arrest me, bro. All right, so I can upgrade artisans, but I'm going to hold off on that until I have... There ain't enough of us. Uh, until I have workers and farmers sort of better set up, because they're currently not. I'm just going to stop breathing now. <laughs> yes, Lotus. Thank you for the reset. Oh, this house does not have market access. Well, then. That is the extent of how far they're going to be able to go. 
Put more there. Now they're happier. I got to be careful about not uh, going so far out of market access in the future. Make sure all the houses I put down have market access or I'll build another market. All right, so I did mention I need to work lows. Uh, this is probably going to mean I am go going to need um, we put our love in. additional uh, warehouses as well uh, coming up this way for more industry. That will settle the work clothes. And then we also have the schnapps shortage. And this is in planning, planning mode. Huge labor shortages. Hope there's, hope there's no newspaper anytime soon because they're going to slam me for it. We got our potato farm and then schnapps distillery. All right, so as soon as I f f uh, fix the labor shortage, I will uh, upgrade to artisan. Or actually, fix the labor shortage and build a church. I would like the workers to have more uh, happy, happiness needs met because I'm missing a church. After that, maybe uh, do the brewery. The, the brewery quest that is uh, pending. But this should allow me to make the soap factory. I finally got enough iron, or uh, steel beams rather. So that will be some of their needs met that I hadn't met uh, previously. That's uh, their second to last need. So school, actually I'll add school to the list too. Church, brewery, and school. All right. So now I know, I think... I think I know what all my timber is going to be used up as. Just building housing. And any house I put down should be within market in this cluster, I think. As I saw it light up to the marketplace. I don't want to adjust the work rate. I just want to uh, build homes to keep them happier. Rather than like overwork them. Give them all a little vacay. <laughs> yeah, this still works, hires 200 people. It gives you a, sort of an idea of how much it jumps in, s in scale. Um, versus, you know, the initial, which was like, oh, this hires 10 people, or this hires 50. Workforce shortage. You just told me that, man. Jesus. I'm working on it. Doesn't happen overnight. Hi, hi.
So now that the soap is being fulfilled for the workers, more workers are moving into their homes. So that that alone will help with the worker labor pool. And then if I can save up the... I don't know why a, a school would need 20 steel, but if I can save, save up the 20 steel for a school, that will also help fulfill their needs. I got me family. Are there threats? Yeah. Uh, there is combat, but I can't speak on it because I am a new player. I have not pl played up to it. But you can, like, invade other people's... Um, or I don't... There, there's combat. There's cannons and all that. Oh, look. There's a quest available. Guilty until you prove yourself innocent. Floating bottles may look innocuous to a layperson, but you... No idea how often these messages uh, inside facilitate escapes. And you'll pay me to find likely. floating bottles. I'll take free money. Attention for the Admiral. So pick up three flotsam in uh, 30 minutes. Sales. Okay. Thank you so very much for watching Anno 1800, which originally streamed live on Twitch May 13th as the main miniseries marathon. Because it was a marathon, I don't intend to return to the game, which means I am not looking for help or feedback in the comments. If you would like to join my gaming community and be a part of the process to vote on the miniseries and also the games that I play, Rodamot.com or the description of this video have a link to that. If you would like to become one of my Patreon patrons, it also has a link to Patreon as well. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, those that came out for the miniseries marathon, and viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits and support the channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing with your friends. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell. <laughs>